the uh, peach builder plot, the peach builder market has just exploded in the last like year, really. It's basically ways to like create rows and layouts from just about any kind of layout you want within the content area of page of, of a WordPress page. So I'm going to show you some examples of what I've done with Beaver Builder. Um, this is the website for an attorney I worked for earlier. Her name's Kelsey. Um, some, some of you may remember I was having trouble with her website because she picked out a different theme and I was just having trouble getting it the way I, the way I wanted to look. The way we wanted it to look. I eventually told her, you know what, just let me use the generate press theme and the Beaver Builder plugin, and I can whip up something in, in days. And so depending on what the outcome looks like, mm -hmm. that determines maybe which theme someone might want to pick? Right, yeah, there, there are so many themes, and um, a lot of them are free, a lot of them are premium, or, you know, are paid. A lot of them, you know, there's like a free version and you can upgrade to a paid version. But all of them kind of have their own, like, you know, unique header areas, appearances, or you might have certain sidebars where you can like upload certain information. But a lot of them are pretty versatile where you can like just create stuff. They're made with page builders in mind, so. But with this, with this page builder, I inserted in this slider and created a row with these uh, callouts with a client's picture and some paragraphs and some links. And a slider that displays recent blog posts. And going to my page. Which one of these am I supposed to pick? Because I was going to pick the board, but. Meeting room. Meeting room. Meeting room. Okay. So here's another page on the website. I basically created, you know, created this long content area with a sidebar built in to the to the uh, Google plugin, and just you know several paragraphs of text. Did you write that content? Oh uh, no, the client did. She's pretty web savvy herself, but she didn't have time to make the website herself, so she hired me. Okay. But she's you know she's a very prolific writer. She's an attorney. She's always updating her blog and things like that. So you another website I made with. Your builder. This is for uh, kind of a new age uh, health clinic in the Nubo district. They're called Illuminations. And it's been updated since I presented it to them, but this is kind of a picture of the inside of their uh, office. Basically, you can add these uh, rows here with uh, their mission statement, uh, <coughs> services, another blog post flyer. And go to another page. Um, you can basically create you know these these content areas with uh, different backgrounds. With you know any, any kind of text you want. So and I'll just show you another website I made just as a demo. It's for a fictional business. I just thought I'd show off with it for a personal restaurant. You can see here, the main image kind of like rotates as a slideshow, which is kind of a cool thing. And there's another, it's got a parallax, you know, background where you can like add a, add a picture and um, it kind of slides in relation to the uh, age here. So I did this with a page builder, a uh, plugin called Beaver Builder, and this is their website. The makers of Beaver Builder, they uh, wanted something, they wanted a uh, drag and drop page builder where you can like add in any kind of, where you can pick, add in a row, decide how many columns you want in a row, and then add these like little design elements called modules that, you know, you can do, they'll feature like Maybe blog posts, uh, little blurbs about your staff and employees, um, contact forms, right? So, 
and we are going to open up their demo so we can actually see what it looks like. We're actually working on another part called Team Customizer Demo, but I think that's full in alpha, so it's not going to market yet. We're going to have a Team Tour Demo. How long have they been in business? Um, not heard of about, I think, three or four <coughs> years. Yeah. And they are probably, you know, they really exploded last year because they built up a really good reputation as far as like being a very well coded plugin that works very, you know, compatibly with all sorts of other WordPress plugins that are out there. So, so what we do here is, um, this is just a demo area. And when you first open up a, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to open up. My own page. Can't give you a tour. Go to this test page. And we're going to launch the page builder. And it's going to give us a little tour. No, it's not. But this is basically a blank area, blank page, that you can create any like WordPress page with. Um, actually, let's go back to the... Um, now is that a, an addition to the basic template, right? So you right, the basic the template, theme. and then you're adding then you, different yeah. stuff to the theme, like right. a tree with branches, and the branches each mm -hmm. have different themes. So if I want to do a blog, it's like, okay. That's one so, of the right, you, you get the theme, and then you upload the Beaver Builder plugin separately. Okay. And they can you can like either purchase the uh, the free version, which is very basic, or you can get like the um, pro version, which has a lot more modest to it. So and I'm using a theme called Generate Press, which is very popular among Beaver Builder users, so it's just so so I'm going to say... I have a quick question for you. Yeah. yeah. Can you have like the dumbest theme and just like a free theme and then just buy Beaver Builder and then yeah. get all the features that you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, just curious. Yeah. But um, generally for us, it's actually very affordable. <coughs> like um, there's, a, there's a free, there's a, this is actually free version of the theme that's already pretty advanced. Okay. But um, there's a, basically a plug-in pack with a generally press that's worth like Forty dollars, and then you can upload it on unlimited websites. So it's a, it's a great option for. <coughs> have you tried it with the twenty seventeen theme? That's I actually what I was going to ask. I, I haven't. I haven't even looked at twenty seventeen. Okay. Oh, okay. So just curious to work with the very very basic stuff. Beaver Builder should work with anything. Okay. okay. Like they've like they they programmed it that way. So. Okay. But not every theme is going to have like the same like layout options. Yeah. Like with with Beaver Builder, you're confined to that theme's content area, and different teams are going to have like their own rules. I'm a little lost in what you're saying, so I'm a visual, so I'm thinking, okay. be the builder's the box, you throw the theme in it, and then you put all the plugins the theme in is like The theme is like the box that you put the plugins in, and Beaver Builder is like the... Uh, is like Beaver the, Builder goes in the theme, or the theme goes in Beaver Builder? Beaver Builder goes in the theme. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Thank you. I'm going to show... Well, let's, let's, um, let's open up the... Uh, <coughs> Let's just look at this page right now. And this is just kind of a blank, you know, set up of the... So that's uh, straight out of the box theme right there. Straight out of the box theme. Yeah. It's got this, uh, this is the content area. And here are some sidebars with some widget areas. And the great thing about... Do you eliminate about, those sidebars? Or do they have yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, and you can re-add them once they screw that totally up. Mm -hmm. I'm taking out awesome. the yeah, it's, it's, it depends on the theme whether you're able to do that, but okay. generate for us lets you do that pretty easily. So we're going to go back to add a, add a page screen. I'm going to click on this box here. It says content, no sidebars. So it'll just be white full screen from left to right. I'm going to say zero widgets in the footer. So it'll just be a blank footer area. Um, full width. And we'll just not disable the content title because that can be kind of annoying. We'll update. And we'll view the page. 
So this is what basically we don't have a contact area yet, but we'll add one. So this is well, actually, this uh, here in the bottom is the contact area. So you, we can like add in the time that we want. Be So let's go to the page builder. Get started. So, one great thing about Beaver Builder is the makers have created these uh, pre made uh, templates. So, they're just basically pre made websites which you can um, switch out pictures and text with. So, we'll imagine that we're making a website for a small business. We'll go with this about us page. And so you have a website, web page already made that you can really make any changes you want to. And you can so, enter your own pictures. You don't mm -hmm. have to use. You don't have to use theirs. Okay. But you know, it's a good starting out point. You know, if you if you don't know what a good website looks like, you can use these templates as kind of like a starting point. And what's cool is there's there's some third party you know web designers who are making their own templates that for for sale too. So you can like go on the market and type in like. <coughs> build templates and this build. is not in this is in conjunction with what you're saying uh, you can actually go online and purchase photographs if you don't take your own yeah so right. I yeah i do that yeah. right and there and there yeah. right there's some really good websites with uh, free stock photos like i right. there's a website called pexels.com which i really like you can see here there's actually a video playing in the background um you click on this little wrench here, you hover, you go to the settings, and okay, the default is full width, the contact area is full width. We can go to background video, and background will say, we don't want a video, we want a parallax. And then we select. What the hell is a parallax? Parallax is, you know, is the effect where it's like when you're scrolling up, um, there's like a background image, but it doesn't, but it doesn't like it's scroll up as fast as the what's in the foreground. It's kind of, like, it kind of like has this little 3D effect. So I'll show you one. I'll show you. So let's upload a different picture. Just a still, just a still image like this here. And so you see, kind of slides like that. And we'll go to the settings again, and we'll pick a different kind of background. I really like the uh, slideshow. So let's pick slideshow. And we'll need to pick a few different images. So it's basically rotating through these, which is, which is kind of neat. Let's, here's um, the text area. When you hover over it, there's like another set of, set of boxes here. There's, um, we'll click on the wrench here to open up the settings. And we can change the name, we can change the text to we'll say, Still see the um, picture behind it, 
but there's enough like contrast with the text up front that you can read the text. That's right. Here are some callouts. And we can keen the picture. Of that row on the website. 
That's that's function of the uh, of the pro version, which you have to pay for. So let's see that. Well, let's go back to the add content, and we'll look at some of the uh, modules that are available. These are the basic modules, and they're available with the free version. You can add audio, you can add a button, which is like you know a link, so just any other page you want. Heading. It um. You, the, the internet kind of like makes a difference. It says there's a difference between headers and regular paragraph text. Headers are kind of like useful for um, SEO groups. So they'll kind of like tell you what a page or a paragraph is about. And there are like different levels. There's like heading one down to heading six. Page, you know, text is just simple paragraph text like this. But this is a header. But we can add a text editor to one of these rows. Then we can type for one of those I would move it there. Save it. Then we can add another module. We'll do uh, a photo. Just drop it where <coughs> you want. We select a photo from what we've saved. Computer, so and another thing we can do is we can move modules. So let's so let's say we don't like where this is. You click on this little these little cross arrows here and drag it to another row. Help. like a little area where you click on actually we'll see done. So I'll go to my site and kind of show you what it's like. So basically you click on it and it kind of drops down. This is kind of a neat option if you have like a FAQ section, it'll have like the different like questions right now, and then you can like let the visitor click on the plus arrow and the uh, answer will show up. Let's go back to page builder and look at some of the other modules. Um, contact form. It's not as advanced as some other plugins offer, but it's pretty functional. You uh, can type in an email. Whenever someone wants to like send you a message, you can create a contact form. You can type in email address you want to send to. So I'll just type in 
my own address. In the field. We'll have like a name field for the person typing the name, the subject field, which they can 